Good morning, saints, and welcome to today's session of Waking Up to Grace. We have Mr. Sam Brandt, who is going to join us today, and he's going to offer us a, a rendition from a Celtic nature prayer. So I think you will find it very interesting. With that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Sam. Hi, y'all. Uh, my devotion today is adapted from this little book, Celtic Nature Prayers, which I really like a lot. I hope you find it interesting and enjoyable as well. It begins with a selection by John Muir, a well-known pioneer naturalist and really well-known in this particular area. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into the trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you, and the storms their energy, while cares will drop off like autumn leaves. Nature's sources never fail. And now some messages from God. These are natural messages, things that are found in nature, uh, things that the Celtic folks uh, were very much attuned to. As the rain hides the stars, as the autumn mist hides the hills, as clouds veil the blue of the sky, so the dark happenings of my life hide the shining of your face from me. Yet the stars still shine behind that rain. The hills are solid beneath the mist. And when the wind drives the clouds away, I again see the blue of heaven. Spring clothes the earth with flowers. Lord, clothe me too in innocence. Summer clothes the earth in green. Lord, clothe me too with life. Autumn clothes the earth with harvest bounty. Lord, clothe me also with contentment. Winter clothes the earth in death. Lord, strip everything from me, but never let me forget that spring always follows winter. As your earth reminds me again and yet again in all her changes and the wheel of her seasons, you live beyond the momentary appearance of my short, dark life. Earth carries your message to me, and it is enough. For though I may stumble in my going, you will never fall. And let me conclude with a selection from Martin Luther King's writings. God writes the gospel not in the Bible alone, but on trees and flowers and clouds and stars. And I would like to ask, in closing, what kind of messages you might have received from God today? Is it something having to do with the flowers? Or you can see spring gradually climbing up the sides of the mountains. But if you look, you will find your messages from God. Thank you. Thank you, Sam Brandt, for today's devotion. And I hope that you can find God somewhere, um, either in another person, in creation, in a simple reading. And with that being said, we will close with our mantra. So everyone take a deep breath. I am God's child, and I am loved. Never forget that. You are loved. Never let anyone tell you that you're not. And with that being said, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.